The fact that they still have this hope and hoping that at some point they'll have, you know, the Duke and the Duchess or Sarsex back in the UK always just leaves me wondering what's given them the whole 100% assurity that Harry and Meghan will ever be back. Because one thing that's very much evident, it's the media outlets back in the UK who are so much persuasive of this whole thing to come to happen. That's one thing that's literally never going to happen. Harry made it clear all by himself and the fact that he changed, you know, his residency. That should give everyone, you know, a whole explanation that his residency is no longer UK, but at the moment, US. This is something he changed all by himself. Another thing that's also very, very much evident, Harry is never going back to that particular toxified environment because he wouldn't love to see his entire family, that's his wife, Duchess Meghan, together with the lovely Archie and Lilibet. His kids been exposed to, you know, the hat, been exposed to the happiers, been exposed to the trolling, the intrusion that, you know, the Duke of Sarsax had to deal with throughout his life, him growing up. Those are some of the things that the Duke of Sarsax wouldn't love to see at happen and uh, i have another particular article under sun there is no way in which the sar success will ever be welcomed back and the fact that they themselves have not made a whole statement a whole story of them wanting to go back to the uk it's just basically them being delusional hoping that at some point uh, probably they'll have a chance of having them back that's one thing that ain't ever ever happening it's them being delusional it's them being obsessed it's them showcasing their level of desperation because i remember the other day doing a whole story of you know richard Eden. Huh? when richard Eden was saying that the duke and the duchess of sarsex if it's them coming back they need to come back now that charles is still alive and one thing that was so much evident in that whole piece it's richard Eden wishing so much for harry and megan back in the uk because you can tell the level of misinformation or the level of them having no news of Harry and Meghan's next move and what they are working towards and what not. That's one thing he's so much longing for. You know, him being a paparazzi, you know, making a living out of hating the Duke and the Duchess of Sarsex. You can tell. And also having to having seen this piece uh, that there's no way they can uh, there's no way in which the Sussexes will ever be welcomed. The fact that the Duke of Sussex was able to bring about that whole audience during the you know Invector Stanthia anniversary service, you can tell that the public still want him, that the public still see so much you know of good potential of so much impact that he's bringing about and that's why the turnout was that large because you can see the difference he was having an invictor stand for your anniversary service uh, you know on the other side uh, charles and the others were having a garden party and you could see the turnout the crowd was uh, fully packed inside the church st paul's cathedral outside every other single corner was crowded with people and what was their main aim just wanting to see him so this is basically a total lie that he won't ever be welcomed they themselves are so much longing to see him they are missing him because first and foremost everything at the moment is just falling into Starting from the institution, looking at the leaders they have left, uh, the supposed called working royals, you know, just looking at Charles, looking at William, Camilla, Kat, all these are lousy grifters. What are they doing to make a difference to the world, to the nation? Nothing. Even the Brits themselves deep inside know very well we lost the only two true leaders, the only two good people who would have made a difference in this particular institution in this particular monarchy because it's very evident it's fading it's falling there's no way come back there's no one to save it
that's one thing just let me take you through an article written by KZL. but before that the reason as to why they wouldn't love or bring about this whole story of harry not coming or in case if he comes they know very well uh, the harry and megan can't be trusted anymore because the one thing that they are willing uh, never to accept it's the abuse the institution uh, the institutional gaslighting and you know to defend themselves against negative brief and uh, put out by the royal family through their reporters that's one thing that they'll do they'll forever step up they won't let anyone pin them down for the sake of their own personal uh, gains harry is loved megan is loved those people are icons and the breeds are missing them they are missing them that's one thing that's very very much evidence the windsors and more specifically prince william and cat had a good week starting with cat's a big announcement that she would attend trooping the color then following through with it the princess of wales was finally sent in public for the first time in nearly six months and she seemed well enough to be on display for hours a huge win for the windsors and the welsers then the william was extra busy after chopping he went to a royal ascot he traveled to germany for the euros and he took his two oldest kids to taylor swift to concert he received a positive PR for all of that. So, why aren't they just riding that wave and being purely positive? In recent days, why, why is there a sudden influx in anti sussex story in conjunction with the Wells's positivity? In recent days, the Mail did multiple stories focused on the Sussexers and how William feels about Harry and whether the Sussexers should or would come back. Why is there still a story and why now? Why is a royal biographer, you know, Christopher Anderson, throwing a whole piece of work? As word fit to Fox News about how William will never welcome back the Sussexers. It's basically them assisting the William thing, you know, the remain the leftovers with a PR stunt. Of course, that's one thing they so much long for. And having to see people like Christopher, Richard Eden, the likes of you know Angela Levine, Lady C, all those royal biographers royal you know insiders experts i can say they are funded to do what they do and that's why they always don't give a second thought of what they say or bring about to the public i wish i could issue some kind of memo to every royal expert reporter stroke historian something simple like in quote analyze the situation without uh, Causing that uh, the Sussexers uh, want uh, to reconcile with the Windsor Warriors. That's one thing Harry and Meghan have not said. And I doubt if it's ever going to happen. They've gotten a better life out there. They've moved on. They are good. And they can't change that fact. Because that's what every single one of them does now. Like they can't even wrap their heads around the possibilities that the Sussexers are fine. They like, uh, they like living in California. They are not begging anyone to come back and they won't take any orders from anyone. Sure, Harry would like to have a real relationship with his father. But beyond that, all of this is just real spinning from royalists who can't figure out why Harry never crawled back, humbled, broke, and divorced like they wanted and again why is there a sudden influx of their sarsex stories some of them maybe not at all of them are coming straight from cousin stone parlors jealousy bitterness you know the fact that they can never be what harry and megan are is what drives them the most and gives them the urge to want to leak more and more and more of what they think about the sarsex to the public, to the media. I'm not surprised myself.
And the fact that they brought a whole comparison of, you know what, Harry and Meghan this compared to William and Kat this. And I'm like, excuse who? Why bring this about now? Yet you know very well what you're starting, what you're disclosing to the public is a total lie. Because Harry and Meghan are that loved. They are just Peter Cards. Everything they anticipated for that, you know, them are going bankruptcy, hoping to crawl back, asking for assistance, and hoping for their divorce, hoping that Harry will go back without Archie, Lily, or Megan. None of their expectations has ever come to a fulfillment. We sorry for them, but we aren't sorry at the same time. It's good that Harry and Megan are fine, and that's the only thing that matters for the remaining leftovers let them keep sailing because you know what the ship is sinking that's by my own perspective i don't know what's your tech in all of this kindly just let me know on the comment section hoping to see you guys in our next more videos to come